Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and these are 10 books that I really want to read that are on Kindle Unlimited. <laughs> So I first made this video a couple months ago back in 2020. Uh, I'll link my first one down below where I listed off 10 books that I have currently checked out on Kindle Unlimited. And I am back again to do this video. I love Kindle Unlimited. I tried canceling my subscription service a couple months ago and it just, I couldn't go through with it. <laughs> I love Kindle Unlimited and I love all the books that it provides. Um, if you didn't know about Kindle Unlimited, it's a subscription service that you can um, get through through Amazon where you can check out 10 books at a time that are on the Kindle Unlimited service. A lot of them are romance books. And so I'm gonna tell you about the 10 romance books that I currently have checked out on Kindle Unlimited. First, we have my current read, which is When She Purrs by Ruby Dixon. This is book number four, a part of the Rizdiverse series. I don't really remember. It doesn't really tell me right here. Um, but this is an alien romance series. I'm trying to make my way through Ruby Dixon's backlist. This is a marriage of convenience. Our heroine is trying to find a husband to help her run this farm that is on this very isolated planet. Um, and our hero comes to the rescue to marry her. I am like 60% of the way through it. Yeah, you'll hear about it in my May wrap up. We then have a book that was on my May TBR, which is Halfbreed Conqueror by Luna Hunter. This is also another alien romance, obviously. So we're here and here, he is basically a cage beast. He's in this cage and put in this cage by these evil people. And then Amy one day is dropped into a cell. The captors, his captors end up telling him that uh, they must mate and get her pregnant within the next week or they will kill her. Um, he obviously does not want this woman to die, but he also cannot force himself upon her. He does not work that way. So Throughout this book, he's trying to convince this woman that he is not a bad person. He also doesn't want her to die um, and that he's really attracted to her. And so he's just trying to like win her over <laughs> while they're in this cell and she is terrified. Um, I'm about to start this one any day now and I'm super excited to. We then have one that I just came across that sounded so cute, which is Tofu Cowboy by uh, Lola West. Our heroine here, Luke, is a cowboy and he is a uh, vegetarian as well. I think he lives in a small town and Maddie, a 25 year old blue haired beautician moves to this small town. On a body positive journey, she's inspired to model nude for a local drawing class. And from the first moment Luke sees her up on the podium modeling, he can't take his eyes off of her. Their attraction is magnetic, but Maddie has a secret that could ruin everything. That sounded so stinking cute. Look at the cover. That looks so cute. I have not heard anybody talk about this book, so you bet. I will be starting this one very soon. We then have another one that I just recently heard about, which is called Nerdgasm by Kimberly Reese. I really wanted to read this book. One of the reasons I really wanted to read this book is because it has a disability rep in here. One of the characters in here has a stutter. Our hero in here, I believe is the one that has a stutter and he meets Addison. She is in the class that he is a teacher's assistant for and she ends up pushing him out of his comfort zone a lot and they end up falling for one another. And this just sounded really good. I love college romances. I love books with disability rep in them. So I definitely wanted to give this book a shot and oh, the cover was just beautiful as well. We then have Leo by Mia Sheridan. I'm trying to read more of Mia Sheridan's books because I've been recently loving her. Um, she is the author who wrote Archer's Voice, which is a very beloved romance book here in the community. So this book is about Leo and Evie and they were in the foster care system together. Leo was adopted as a kid and Evie was not. She was stuck in the system. But right before he got adopted, they ended up like admitting their feelings for one another and they shared their first kiss together. And um, Leo makes Evie promise that she will wait for him, that they will be together one day, that she will not fall for anyone else, that she will wait for Leo. But it's eight years later, she has not heard from Leo once since he's gotten adopted. This book starts out with uh, this man who introduces himself, or doesn't really introduce himself, um, comes to see our heroine telling her that Leo has sent him to check up on her. I have read the first chapter in here. I think I read it a couple months ago and I just put it down because school was getting a little bit crazy and I hadn't gone back to it yet. I'm probably gonna get back to this at a later date. Then I have While You Were Creeping by Poppy Reese. <laughs> Just look at that cover, y'all. This is about a heroine who uh, has zero plans to spend Christmas with an alien convict, um, but she had to. This convict has no respect for her personal space. It only goes downhill from there in a mode of desperation when she strikes a bargain with him to be her Krampus for the annual Kringle Parade. So I think this is also like a Christmassy 
book. Oh, and pretend to be her doting boyfriend for the holiday season in exchange for her help. This sounded just really funny and really cute. And I'm trying to find more like alien romances that are really good and I don't know. This one had pretty good ratings, so that's why I downloaded it. <laughs> then we have Loving Mr. Daniels by Brittany C. Cherry. Um, I'm trying to also read more of Brittany C. Cherry's books. I think that this is a student-teacher relationship. Um, she's a senior in high school and she has to call him Mr. Daniels, which I assume means that he is a teacher at the school. It says that our love story wasn't only about physical connection, it was about family. It was about loss, it was about being alive. It was silly, it was painful, it was mourning, it was laughter, it was ours. And for those reasons alone, I will never apologize for loving Mr. Daniels. I've heard really great things about this book and um, I'm not the biggest fan of student teacher relationships. Uh, me being a, going to be a teacher, I just find it very icky. <laughs> So we'll see how I think about this one. Um, I really wanted to read it just so I can read more of Brittany C. Cherry's books. Then I have another alien romance book, what's new? Um, we have Rescued by Her Alien Mate by Ava York. I thought being kidnapped by four armed blue apes was as weird as life was going to get. Boy, was I wrong. We've crashed, our captors have fled, and now we've been rounded up by a group of tall horned men with scales who don't understand a word that we say. Uh, so why does my heart flutter when their leader touches me, when his eyes flash silver, something deep inside me answers. But if I lose my heart, how can I keep myself and the other women safe? This just sounded super fun. Um, gave me Ice Planet Barbarian vibes without the Ice Planet. Um, it looks like they, um, have a language barrier here, super fun, very intrigued. We then have Freehand by E.M. Lindsay. So this book is about Derek and his life is ruled by a carefully cultivated routine and there is no room for change. He is a tattoo artist and he spends his days hunched over a chair and his nights pouring his trauma into a canvas. And that's all he has time for. So when a storm knocks out the power and he's trapped with the ridicu ridiculously hot deaf florist who just moved across the street, he is not sure what to do with himself. Derek owes Basil for keeping his panic at bay while they wait for the doors to open, but he's not sure there's room for more than friendship. With Basil's hesitance to date a hearing man and Derek still dealing with the trauma of his abusive father left behind, happily ever after seems like just a dream, but Derek finds it difficult to stay away. And the more Basil sticks around, the more Derek starts to wonder if he might be worthy of love. I know I originally found this book just one day browsing Kindle Unlimited and I read that our heroine is deaf and I immediately downloaded it. If you don't know, I love books that have disability rep in them and I'm trying to find more with amazing disability representation in it. And so this just sounded so good. We have a tattoo artist, a forced proximity, a deaf heroine, a guy who has PTSD, obviously. Um, there's a lot of things going on here and I feel like this just, could be a recipe for an amazing book. And speaking of disability rep, we have another disability rep book, which is the last book on this list, which is The Duke Meets His Matchmaker by Bianca Blythe. Um, this is a historical romance, if you can tell, and I believe our heroine is in a wheelchair. Our heroine, Daisy, is basically the town matchmaker. She then meets the Duke of Hammett, who is Bath's newest temporary resident. Um, and he asks her to find him a bride, but it's quite difficult for her to find a bride for a man who is very, very grumpy. <laughs> Wait, no, I actually think that he doesn't want a wife, but she tries to find one for him anyway. And I believe this just might end up having her be the wife <laughs> or they end up falling for one another. Um, but I read some reviews and um, our heroine in here is actually in a wheelchair. So that's the main reason why I downloaded it is because it has disability representation in it. And I don't see a lot of historical romances that have disability rep in them. So I'm quite excited to get to this one. So there you have it. Those are the 10 books that I currently have checked out on Kindle Unlimited. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. Also let me know if you have some Kindle Unlimited recommendations for me. I would love them. Um, but anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.